Hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at LED uplighting. Now, when it comes around to buying new LED fixtures, it can be really difficult to choose. You've got so many different technologies in lights like RGB, RGBA, RGBW, Tri LED, Quad LED. It can sometimes be really confusing. So, in today's video, we're going to take a look at RGB versus RGBA and see the differences you get in performance. To demonstrate this, I'm going to be using the American DJ Jelly Go Pass 64. Now, it just so happens that I now have four of these fixtures. Two of them are RGB and two of them are RGBA. So let's take a look at them side by side and we can get a really good idea of what the differences are. So what's the difference? RGB fixtures use red, green and blue LEDs, which then combine to create lots of different colours. RGBA fixtures use red, green, blue and amber LEDs. That addition of amber LEDs makes a big difference in the spectrum of colours that can be achieved by mixing the LEDs. So now I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see the difference of colour mixing between RGB and RGBA. Please keep in mind that the camera picks up the colours very differently to how we see colours with our own eyes, so it's not completely accurate. Also, some of the strange colours on the wall at the edge of the beam is caused by the transparent case of the Jelly Gopar. So these first colours are the same for both fixtures, like red, green, blue and purple. Here we have amber. The RGB fixture is having to mix red and green to make the amber, while the RGBA has those dedicated amber LEDs. Side by side, the RGBA does a much better job. Now we have yellow, which is a very difficult colour to reproduce, and it's pretty much impossible for the RGB fixture. Now you can't see it clearly on the video, but the RGBA does a much better job. Next up we have a light green, and I would say it's fairly evenly matched. Now with orange here, RGBA wins hands down. You can just about make an orange with the RGB, but it's not very bright. Those amber LEDs on the RGBA give a really solid orange light. Lastly, we have white, which is one of those very difficult colours to pull off. Both fixtures really struggle here and give a very uneven wash. The only way to get a nice even white wash is to use fixtures with RGBW LEDs, which have separate white LEDs. So RGBA is definitely better than RGB. It gives you a much wider colour spectrum and allows you to get more solid ambers and oranges. I think it's worth the extra money to invest, especially if you do weddings, because that gold amber colour can be quite common. So there you have it. RGBA definitely has an advantage over RGB when it comes to colour mixing, but it's really up to you whether you want to invest that extra money. Now go check out the first link in the description below to see a video talking about RGB versus Tri-LED and what the differences you get are there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.